Welcome to Real Life Stories. Today we have a new real story. So listen carefully. Crystal shot her father at point blank range while he slept. Teenager killed her father and then hid his body in the shed so she could have drug fueled parties. When word spread around Crystal Brook Howell's friends that her father had not only moved away and left her alone, but had then committed suicide, Crystal received nothing but sympathy. So it was understandable that this 17-year-old had invited some of her friends to stay with her at the remote sprawling family cabin to keep her company. But then Crystal started hosting wild parties and even installed a pole dancing pole in the kitchen. Was Crystal a young girl rebelling after suffering a terrible tragedy? Or was she strangely celebrating her loss? When her friends moved a pinball machine into an outdoor shed, they found the answer, decomposing in a plastic container. Crystal's parties had come at a terrible price. It was 2014 and Crystal lived with her dad, Michael Howell, in a remote community known as Sheepback Mountain, near Maggie Valley, Columbia. Their house was a large eight-bedroom wooden cabin with stunning views. Her parents had divorced five years earlier, and at first, Crystal had stayed with her mum Christina Regster, but it hadn't worked out. Crystal didn't stick to the rules. She had been a typical teenager, testing her parents' boundaries. Crystal moved in with her dad, a former sports editor at a local newspaper called the Columbia County News Times. He encouraged up-and-coming athletes and won awards for his work. Locals said that Michael, 50, was a good dad, always trying to steer his daughter in the right direction. He loved the simple, quiet life in the country, but it seemed Crystal wanted more. On February the 24th, Crystal was caught shoplifting in a supermarket while she was out with her dad. It's likely the highly respected man was hugely disappointed. Did Michael tell his daughter he was going to be stricter at home? Was Crystal tired of her dad's rules now too? Whatever he said, when they got home a frustrated Crystal took a shower and made a shocking decision. Her dad had to die. As Michael took a nap on a sofa, Crystal crept towards him with a shotgun. She shot him at point-blank range in the head, killing him instantly. Somehow, the girl managed to drag his body to a shed on the grounds. She stuffed it inside a plastic storage container and covered it with a sleeping bag. Then she hid the empty gun casing, got rid of the sofa and sold the gun. Now she needed to explain his disappearance. Crystal spread rumors around her friends that her father had gone off to Georgia without her, then said she'd received a call informing her that he'd killed himself. It didn't arouse suspicion when she invited some friends to stay, the cabin was big and isolated. They thought she'd been abandoned and she said she needed help to go through her dad's things. They moved in and started to pack up Michael's belongings, in containers similar to the one Crystal had crammed his body inside. In the rural community, no one noticed when Crystal started to throw big parties or that Michael had vanished. She used her dad's money to buy drugs and drove his car. Her actions were easy to hide from authorities in such a secluded spot. A month later, on March the 22nd, two of Crystal's male friends moved a pinball machine out into the shed. As they shifted things around, one of the young lads saw the storage container and looked inside. He discovered Michael's decomposed body. I never want to see anything like that ever again in my life, he later told a local paper. It has ruined me. They called the police, but when they arrived, Crystal had disappeared. That very day, Crystal had driven her dad's orange Range Rover to her mum's house in Augusta, Georgia. She was pulling a trailer with some of her things. Crystal said that her dad had released her from his care and she wanted to move in. But all she did was have a shower, before leaving. She was arrested the next day at a motel. When questioned, she confessed to killing her dad. The small community was shocked by what she had done. In October 2016, Crystal pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and another charge of concealing a death. The prosecution was damning of her behavior. Miss Howell had previously told her friends that her father had killed himself, they said. She then started to drive his car and spend his money. She had her friends move in, had a drug-fueled party and even had a stripper pole installed in the kitchen. Her lawyers claimed she had a history of mental health problems but the prosecution said it was a planned and brutal execution. Crystal had killed her father then spent his money without a second thought. 
In October 2016, Crystal, now 20, was ordered to serve a minimum of 30 years and 25 years for the murder and five for hiding the body. She will spend her sentence in an adult prison. Crystal was a teenager who hated living by the rules. She murdered her dad as he slept, so no one could tell her what to do, but there was no escaping the rule of law.